Think of Neil Armstrong. <laughs> so they've got a bit of weightlessness to them in the water. They can push themselves up. Plus becoming less and less. They can travel up to 30 lot for the size. Any idea how much they weigh? We've got three species of crocodile. We've got the dwarf roast, about one of them. They have got a very thick skin or membrane which covers the organs protecting them. And they use a process almost like we do to just simplify it, something we call reverse osmosis. So they're extracting the salt out of the water, but then they still got the salt in their bodies. How they get rid of it? Not because they're sad or depressed, they're just trying to get rid of that salt. So maybe this is where the term comes from. Somebody is crying crocodile tears. Now, their teeth, they don't use for chewing food. Okay. Their teeth is for grabbing their prey, ripping the limbs or the flesh off. They swallow big pieces of meat, horn, bone, hooves. They've got strong digestive acids to deal with this. Now, with all the gripping and ripping of the flesh, it means they break teeth continually. Now, their teeth are hollow inside. They're like ice cream cones, all stacked on top of each other. Okay. So one breaks off. The next one pushes through. Mm -hmm. So this section of the skull that's broken away here, yeah, you can see all the little grooves. So there's going to be a whole row of teeth inside here. Mm -hmm. So if one breaks off, yes, the next one goes through. Like a dispensing machine. Now they can replace their teeth approximately 2,800 times. waiting until they are now big enough and strong enough to be able to challenge a dominant male and then take his position. Then your females and then the young male and female. So the baby there you got a young male in a pot of hippos. Roughly about 60 to 70 percent being female, 30 to 40 percent being male. Anybody got any ideas why they are more female than male? 50 meters long on a fully grown male. Curving like a tusk and are very very sharp. These teeth can puncture lungs. They can. Male hippos reaching maturity at eight years of age and females at six. Now, when these youngsters reach maturity, they leave the pod. They go and join other pods to stop the to really take. Can't divide the other ones again. <laughs> <laughs> so, now the other one here. You'll notice that those little calves there. <laughs> now, with them walking around in town, They've grown accustomed to the human presence, but it is a dangerous, dangerous animal. In the last 10 years, three people have been attacked by them. That's minimal compared to the rest of Africa. Mm. Although some people, yes, they have been chased, chased by hippos. <laughs> yeah. So, if you're walking yes, around so. in our streets at night and you happen to see a hippo, you stay a minimum of 50 meters. Not 15, 50. 50. 50. <laughs> Yeah. 